hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is Arun and in today's video we are going to talk about what is SAP ECC this video contains seven sections I provided the timelines in the video description so if you would like to skip around then please feel free to do so so firstly we are going to talk about what is ERP in general there are tons of information available on the internet regarding what an ERP system is I've even seen so many cool videos about it in YouTube. Actually, SAP themselves have created a video about what is ERP. Just Google what is ERP and you should be able to watch or read some of them. But I thought I will also talk about what is an ERP system first before going into the topic of ECC as that will give us a nice flow. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. It is a business management software used by organizations to manage their day-to-day -day business activities. Say for example, I run a multi-million dollar shoe company and let's go through some of the typical business activities I must perform on a day-to-day -day basis to run my business. First, I need to make sure I have enough raw materials to produce the shoes. I must have a clear understanding of the market demand for my shoes so that I can increase or decrease the production of shoes as per the demand. I must ensure the machines in the factory or service in regular intervals so that they don't break down. I must recruit employees make sure I pay them properly and also look after their growth and well-being. I must also ensure that my business is making enough money and monitor the profit and loss. And there are so much more other activities that I would be doing on a day-to-day -day basis to run my business. So ERP is the software that is going to help me do all these things and much much more. There are tons of ERP software available on the market and SAP's ERP is the market leader in that space and run by about 80% of the Fortune 500 companies. So now let's talk about evolution of SAP's ERP systems. It all started for SAP in 1972 with the R1 system. Then R2 came out in 1979, R3 in 1992, ECC in 2004, and the latest and greatest next generation ERP system called SAP S4 HANA in 2015. Let's talk about S4 HANA in another video as this one is all about SAP ECC system. So what is SAP ECC or ECC 6.0 to be precise? In 2004, SAP launched a new version of R3 software with a revised architecture called SAP ECC. ECC stands for SAP ERP Central Component. It is one of the most robust and successful ERP software available in the market and as I said before, it is used by more than 80% of the Fortune 500 companies. It can run on any database including SAP HANA which is an in-memory database developed by SAP themselves. But in order for it to run on a HANA database, it requires a minimum enhancement pack level of 7. The latest enhancement pack available for SAP ECC is enhancement pack 8. So SAP ECC comprises of 10 functional modules and you can see what those modules are on the screen. The modules are nothing but a bunch of functionalities grouped into different categories. Those modules are tightly integrated with each other which makes the data flow between multiple lines of businesses easy and efficient. It also provides an integrated view of the whole organization. Now let's take a quick look at the different types of modules and its purposes. So firstly, let's talk about finance module. It's also known as FI. So FI stands for finance. It is one of the most important modules of the SAP ECC system, which is used to collect, store and process various financial processes such as general ledger, accounts payable, accounts receivable, bank accounting, asset accounting and travel management. Basically everything to do with an organization's finance. Secondly, CO. CO stands for controlling. Controlling provides information for management decision making. It facilitates coordination, monitoring and optimization of all processes in an organization. This involves recording both the conception of production factors and the services provided by an organization. For example, how much money a particular cost center has received or spent how many of them were internal orders and how many of them were for external resources and that kind of stuff. SD, SD stands for sales and distribution. So basically if I am manufacturing product then that needs to be sold and distributed. Um, it stores and processes information 
related to customers, services, shipping, selling and transportation of goods and services. MM, MM stands for Materials Management. It deals with the management of materials, basically products and services that are required by an organization to produce their goods or offer their services. PP, PP stands for Production Planning. Functionalities in this module will help organizations to produce goods that are aligned with the market demand. It helps track the goods movement from raw materials to finished goods and is providing organizations with the ability to plan their production process well in advance. QM. QM stands for Quality Management. As the name implies, the functionalities of this module will help organizations to ensure that goods produced by them meet certain quality control criteria like ISO 2001 or ISO 9001, all those sort of stuff. PM. PM stands for Plant Maintenance. It contains functionalities such as inspection, preventive maintenance, repair, budget planning for plant maintenance, basically to help organizations conduct repairs and maintain their plants. And a plant can be anything, for example, it could be a machine in a factory or factories themselves, warehouses, workshops, engineering or electrical equipments uh, like transformers, etc. CS. CS stands for customer service. It is involved in the planning of providing external services, such as providing repair maintenance of a product a customer has bought or rented. PS. PS stands for Project Systems. This module is used by the project managers as it provides functionalities to manage projects successfully and also ensure they are executed efficiently, on time and within budget. Then finally, HCM. HCM stands for Human Capital Management. This HCM module contains all the required functionalities to manage an organization's workforce, including employee experience management, core HR related activities, payroll, employee master data, talent management and workforce planning. So until when is ECC supported? For a long time, SAP mentioned SAP ECC will be supported only until 31st December 2022. But recently they extended the mainstream maintenance up until 2025 with an option of extended maintenance which is offered for a further two years that is until 2027, but that comes under an additional cost. What is the successor of SAP ECC? Okay, if you are in the SAP field, you would already know that the successor of SAP ECC is SAP S4 HANA. It is SAP's latest next generation ERP software that runs on an in-memory database called SAP HANA. It is available as both on-premise and in the cloud and comprises of a lot of cool stuff like robotic process automation, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and also incorporates a nice user experience called SAP Fiori. I'll make a detailed video about SAP S4 HANA very soon. Last but not least, I've also started a blog called Let's Chat SAP. Whatever I upload as a video in the YouTube will also be available as a blog. So if you are one of those people who like to read instead of watching a video, then please check out my blog. The link is in the video description. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you and see you soon in another video.